Hello, acute angels. This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will talk about probability, specifically about illustrating events and union and intersection of events. Are you ready? Well, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate events and union and intersection of events. But what is probability? Probability refers to the likelihood for something to happen. It is also often referred to as the measure of chance. Probability enables us to predict the occurrence of an event as a result of an experiment. Also, in probability, activities like tossing a coin or rolling a die are called experiments. These are activities with observable results. And the results of an experiment are called outcomes. While the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment is called a sample of space. Lastly, any subset of possible outcomes for an experiment is known as an event. Of course, there is no better way to understand it other than having an examples. Example number one. The experiment is tossing a coin. And when we toss a coin, either we get a head or a tail. And we called it as sample space. Then, showing a head or showing a tail is an event. Another example is... Rolling a die. Sample space is all the possible outcomes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the events, we have getting a number 1, getting a number 2, getting a number 3, getting a number 4, getting a number 5, and getting a number 6. Now that we know some of the terms related to probability, Let's talk about probability of simple events. So, how do we get the probability of simple events? If each of the outcomes in a sample space is equally likely to occur, then the probability of an event E, denoted as P of E, is given by P of E is equal to the number of ways the event can occur over number of possible outcomes. Or, we can use P of E is equal to the number of outcomes in the event over number of possible outcomes in the sample space. Also, probability is a value between and including 0 and 1, 0 for an event that is impossible to happen, between 0 and 0 0.5 it is unlikely to happen, 1 half or 0 0.5 an even chance, between 0.5 and 1, it is likely to happen. And for 1, it is certain that the event will happen. Let's take a look at this example. When a per die is rolled once, what is the probability of getting 7, 5, an odd number, and not a 5? Let's begin with letter A, probability of getting 7. We use the formula P of E is equal to number of ways the event can occur over number of possible outcomes. How many ways can 7 occur? That is right. It's 0 because we only have 1 to 6 in a per die. Number of possible outcomes. This is the total number of sample space. We have 6 since a die have 6 spaces. All possible outcomes would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We now have 0 over 6. And 0 over 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, the probability of 7 turning up is 0. It means it is impossible to happen. Next, probability of getting 5. Again, we use the formula for probability of simple events. How many ways can 5 occur? Right, it's 1. Because we only have one number 5 in a die. 
Number of possible outcomes, we have six, since and I have six paces. We now have one over six. Our answer could be expressed into fractions or in decimal places, but on my personal view, I prefer having a fractions. So in here, the probability of pipe turning off is 1 over 6. It means it is unlikely to happen. Letter C. Probability of getting an odd number. Again, we use the formula for probability of simple events. How many odd numbers are there in a die? Correct! It's 3. We have 1, 3, and 5. For the number of possible outcomes, again, we have 6. We now have 3 over 6. And 3 over 6 can be simplified to 1 over 2. Therefore, the probability of an odd number turning up is 1 over 2. It means it has an even chance. Lastly, probability of getting not a 5. Again, we use the formula for probability of simple events. How many numbers are there in a die that is not 5? Very good! It's 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. For the number of possible outcomes, again, we have 6. We now have 5 over 6. Therefore, the probability of net number 5 turning up is 5 over 6. It means it is likely to happen. Aside from simple events, we also have compound events. Events which consist of more than one outcome are called compound events. A compound event consists of two or more simple events. Let's take a look at some examples. Example number one, consider the situation below. Use the three diagram given in answering the questions that follow. A school canteen serves lunch for students. A set of menu consists of one type of rice, one type of buy-in, and one type of drink. The three diagram shows the possible menu combination. For rice, we have two choices either a fried rice or a steamed rice. For viand, we have chicken adobo or pinakbet. And for drinks, we have an apple juice or an orange juice. Question letter A. Give the sample space of combination of rice, viand, and drink. How many possible outcomes are there? So what are all the possible orders? Again, we called it as sample space. First one, we have fried rice, chicken adobo, pineapple juice. Or we can also have fried rice, chicken adobo, and an orange juice. Fried rice, pinakbet, pineapple juice. Fried rice, pinakbet, Orange juice Steamed rice Chicken adobo Pineapple juice Steamed rice Chicken adobo Orange juice Steamed rice Pinakbet Pineapple juice Steamed rice Pinakbet Orange juice All in all, we have 8 possible outcomes Letter B List the outcomes of selecting a lunch with pineapple juice. Those with pineapple juice are the following. Fried rice, chicken adobo, pineapple juice. Fried rice, pinakbet, pineapple juice. Steamed rice, chicken adobo, pineapple juice. Steamed rice, pinakbet, pineapple juice. All in all, we have four. Question letter C. What is the probability that the student chose pineapple juice as a drink? For us to solve this, we will use the formula for probability of simple event. P of E is equal to the number of ways the event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. Choosing pineapple juice can occur four times. 
and the number of possible outcomes is 8. 4 over 8 can be simplified as 1 over 2. Again, the probability that the student chose pineapple juice as a drink is 1 over 2. Example number 2. Find the probability of getting a 6 and a 1 when two dice are rolled. For us to solve this, we use a table to show the possible outcomes in rolling a pair of dice. We could possibly get both 1, or 1 and 2, or 1 and 3, and so on and so forth. In total, we have 36 possible outcomes. And the outcomes with 6 and 1 as a result is 2. We have 1 and 6, and 6 and 1. Again, we will use the probability formula of simple events. Substituting the number of ways 6 and 1 will occur, we have 2. Then for possible outcomes, we have 36, 2 over 36. 2 over 36 can be simplified as 1 over 18. Therefore, the probability of getting a 6 and a 1 when two dice are rolled is 1 over 18. Aside from simple and compound events, we also have the union of events. The union of events A and B is the collection of all outcomes that are elements of one or the other of the sets A and B, or of both of them. The union is denoted by A, Union B or A or B. Union, it is like combining the terms but we did not put all those terms with duplicate. For instance, if we have two six, we will only write one six in the union of events. For example, find the union of the events. For event A, it consists of one, two, and three. For event B, it consists of three and four. For our solution, we have A union B. It consists of 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, and 3 from A, 3, and 4 from B. But as I have mentioned earlier, we will only write 1, 3. Next term is the intersection of events. The intersection of events A and B is the collection of all outcomes that are elements of both of the sets. It corresponds to combining descriptions of the two events using the word AND. The intersection is denoted by A, intersection B, or A and B. In short, the common elements of both the events. Example, find the intersection of the events A, which consists of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. B, which consists of A, E, I, O, U. For our solution, we will write their common terms. A, intersection B, it consists of A, E, and I. Lastly, the complement of an event. The complement of an event is the set of all outcomes that are not in the event. This means that if the probability of an event A is P of A, then the probability of the event in that occur is 1, minus p of a. Thus, the probability of the complement of an event is equal to 1 minus p of a. The complement of an event are the outcomes that are not included in an event. That is why we subtract the probability of an event to 1. For example, when a third die is rolled once, the probability of getting 5 or p of a is 1 over 6. What is the probability of the complement of the event? So we use the formula 1 minus probability of event A. P of A is 1 over 6. And we can rewrite 1 as 6 over 6 to make the denominator of the fraction similar. 6 minus 1 is 5, and we just copy the denominator 6. The probability of the event to not occur is 5 over 6. And that's it. Just remember that probability refers to the likelihood for something to happen. It is also often referred to as the measure of chance. 
and for us to solve the probability of simple event, we use the formula P of E is equal to the number of ways the event can occur over number of possible outcomes or P of E is equal to the number of outcomes in the event over number of possible outcomes in the sample space. Dear Acute Angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to it. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinee episode.